Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video and in this video I'm gonna be asking you guys the question and answering it. Is PUBG a good casual game? And I apologize if my energy is either low or high at the same time. I'm recording this just as I woke up, but is PUBG a good casual game? We gotta look at it from a lot of different perspectives, such as how do the menus work? Is the gameplay good? Is the gameplay easy to understand? You know, you got all these questions that you need to know. And should you get into this game with no experience or some experience? So looking at the game, uh, the rules as we would call it, it's very easy to understand. You have a hundred people and there's an ever decreasing circle that is, does not kill you and you have to kill all the other people, right? And anyone who's um, even done a little bit of video gaming or even uh, board game type games understands, you know, that you can have different strategies and it's very easy to see the different strategies play out in this game. Um, even just watching a little bit of streaming, you know, it's, it's easy to understand how the game works and, you know, where the loot is and, you know, maybe maybe where vehicles are. Vehicles are a bit harder, but it's generally easy to understand the premise of PUBG and, you know, the rules of it and that's it, a great benefit. The controls are insanely difficult to get a hand on. It took me, and I still mess up sometimes, <clears throat> it's taken me like a hundred games to get the controls down. And a game, uh, my average, I guess my average game time according to the game is freaking like 18 minutes. All right? So if you have two hours in a week to play video games, two, and you can survive as long as I can, which is on average 18 minutes, that's six, that's gonna take you literally like more than like 10 weeks. Maybe actually that'd be about 15 weeks to really get the game. And that's assuming you don't forget how the controls work. So 15 weeks, that is a long time to be playing one game. But eventually you will learn the controls. If you have more time like I do, or you know, you're very experienced in first person, that is a big plus by the way. I am very experienced with first person shooter type games and third person, mind you. So <clears throat> I understood the controls faster and I've done survival games before. So I kind of understand the controls more. It still took me a hundred games. It might take you two or three hundred games to really understand how the controls work in this game. Now let's talk about the actual gunplay and vehicle combat and melee combat in the game. Vehicle combat is very simple. If you run into someone, they die or get downed if you're playing teams or you run in the cars into each other and the cars take damage. That's the car car gameplay. Gun gameplay, it's not the best. It It's very hard to get used to and there is a limit to how well you can play because the controls are very, let me aim, like my sensitivity will say that stay, stay the same, right? And I'll aim like this. That's how you aim in this game. It's really weird, and swapping between first and third person, or first and tightened hip fire, as they call it, is, I mean, it's the best they could do, but the gunplay is still really weird. Melee combat, right now on Xbox, the frame rate is too low to even do melee combat. Don't even try to do melee combat, all right? Even close range combat on Xbox, not exactly the best. On PC, though, you can do all the combat very well. All right, it works very well, especially if you have a game that, or a PC that can even run the game at a solid 30 FPS. One of the important things I forgot to mention is most of this actually is Xbox. On PC, I hear that the controls are actually a lot easier to understand, so you might have an easier time actually playing the PC version of PUBG compared to the Xbox version. I think the biggest detractor that makes this game not a casual game is the disadvantage you have if you are listening to music, multitasking, or not paying attention to the game all the time. Because, I mean, if I'm playing the game, I have to look at every single point I can see on the map, on, on, in, on my screen. I need to be able to see every single point and watch for people running. Maybe people running on that mountain all the way over there. I still have to be able to do that to help me win the game and in terms of you know if I'm in a building and someone's around the building I need to be able to listen to their footsteps and listen and hear what kind of guns they swap to to you know if they're doing that and I'm not I'm gonna die like you have to 
fully engage yourself in this game. So, I mean, that is a big detractor for the casual game, I guess, stamp of approval, I don't know. Another very big um, detractor is all of the guns have different bullet speeds. And later on, or um, longer range fights, not even too long of a range, the bullet speed plays into how well you can hit someone. So, like, if you don't know the bullet speed of your gun and you don't know, like, how far ahead you have to aim, how far above someone you have to aim, all that stuff, you're not going to be able to get kills unless you're close to someone. And that's a big deal, especially before, if you manage to survive, before the super tiny circle, that's a big deal, that being able to do long range combat. And then you also have to um, learn the recoil of all the weapons for long range, unless you want to do semi-auto fire, but if someone knows the recoil and they do full auto on you, you're screwed. So, it, PUBG, overall the skill gap and skill curve comes down to experience, okay? comes down to experience. Yes, it is an easy to understand game. You know, it's easy to figure out, you know, the loot, kind of how the loot works, how the menus work. Well, the menus, it takes a while. But, I would say this game is not a casual game because of how engaged you have to be with the game and how much the difference of an experienced player versus a non-experienced player. Of course, every game should have that, but in PUBG, it is particularly a big skill gap that playing, you know, at, at most two hours a week, you know, two to three hours a week, is not going to lessen that skill gap and you're not going to be able to win games. So, um, I will say, if you're a casual gamer like me and you don't have a lot of time, don't buy PUBG. If you're a casual, if you have lots of time, to actually learn how the game works, and you naturally will learn how the game works, then it's a good game. But definitely the more hardcore people will win if you're playing with a team, you know, and you communicate versus just talk crap about each other all the time. The team with the communication is going to win. And it's really just... There, there's too many variables at play to make this a good casual game. So don't pick up PUBG if you're a casual gamer. Um, if you're gonna have to pick it up and want to learn and want to be better at it. So that's it guys Thank you for watching if you enjoyed you can tell me in the comments below. I'm Pacific the casual gamer I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I will see you in the next episode stream or vlog of whatever I decide to make